Friends, today we are going to design a 12 volt power supply. Without any delay, let's build the prototype. So guys, we have to connect the transformer. So you can see this transformer is plugged to the input source. Then after before doing anything, you must test the transformer output to be sure of what you will be getting at the output. So let's test the transformer output voltage and see. You can see that the transformer output is 14.3 AC. This is the stepped down voltage from the transformer. Now let's build the bridge rectifier. Guys, okay, so you can see that we have built the bridge rectifier. So these are the four diodes, one, two, three, four. So this is a physically one, two, three, four. So we now need to feed the power from the transformer. Okay, this line, we need to complete this path by feeding the power from the transformer to the bridge rectifier. Okay, then now we have fed the power from the transformer to the bridge rectifier. Uh, now let's measure the output voltage from the bridge rectifier and see. So you can see that the now we have a DC output. You can see from here. The voltage you are measuring is from the bridge rectifier. So we have the voltmeter. The voltmeter is indicating on the DC side. Okay. DC voltage. So you can see that we have rectified the main AC into DC. Now let's let's now connect the filtering circuit. Now guys, for me to be able to connect this inductor, you can see that I've used this jumper wire to take wire power from here up to this point so that I can be able to connect the inductor. So the inductor is this way. One side is the input, another side is the, the output, just like it is drawn there. So now I have to insert in the same conductor to where I am tapping power. Okay. Now the L is connected. Then let's look for the capacitor now. So this is the capacitor we are going to use to form our LC filter. So let me connect the, the C. The C means the capacitor. So now we can form the LC filter. So now guys, you can see that we have formed the LC filter. So you see the L. Now this is the L and the C, the capacitor. This is the capacitor, this point here. So now we are going to measure the output after this filter. So guys, you can see that the output, we have gotten the output from the LC filter. So our output is 20 volt DC. So this is the output from our LC filter. Now guys, as per the circuit diagram, now we need to, now we need to connect uh, the last stage, okay, which is the voltage regulator. So now in this project, we're going to use an IC 7812 eh? 7812 so because we want to get 12 volt at the output okay what i want to do is that i want to jump a wire okay to so that it can allow me to connect the ic properly okay now you can see that i've jumped I've, jumped, I've taken power from the LC filter up to this point. Now I can take the IC. So hold the, uh, the voltage regulator IC has three pins. Pin 1, pin 2, pin 3. So this is the voltage regulator IC. Pin 1, pin 2, pin 3. Then the power which is supposed to be regulated is connected to pin 1. Okay. So pin 1, this one. Then the pin 2 now is grounded. Okay, it's connected to the to the ground. Then the pin 3 is where you get your output. You can see here pin 3 is where you get your output. So like in our case, we'll get 12 between pin 3 and the ground. So now guys, we have already taken the power which is supposed to be regulated at up to this point. Now we connect the voltage regulator IC. So guys, I've tapped up. So you can see this rail here, the, the negative voltage is on this rail from the start up to the end is the negative voltage. So I want to now give the negative voltage to the voltage regulator. Now you can see guys, we, we have the voltage regulator. So we have connected the input and the ground. So now we can, we can get our output from pin 3.
is what I want to do now. After finishing to connect like this, you can see the input is coming here to this red wire. Okay, the ground to pin two and to get the output from the third pin. So now let's measure the out our output voltage. What is the output voltage? So, so now guys, you can see that the power is so. You can see from the voltmeter, we have achieved our 12 volt output DC. Okay, you can see 12 volt DC voltage. So, so guys. We have successfully achieved on our project, so we have got our, our target, which we, we were expecting to get at the output. So now what we are going to do, we are going to connect a load, because this is 12 volt or no load, now we need to add a load. So we are going to connect a 12 volt bulb and test if our, our power supply will be able to manage and run that bulb. Okay. Now guys, you can see that I've connected this bulb, the positive to ter terminal 3 and the negative. Okay, so now let's test our power supply on load. So you can see that our power supply is able to to run and or to light up our our bulb, our 12 volt bulb. So this is power supply using LC filter. So in the next upcoming video, we'll talk about the Pi filter. Now we design another power supply using Pi filter. So guys, you can see this is project set number two. And after after that, we are going to see how you can be you can use voltage divider rules how to divide the input voltage. So we also do that. So guys, you can see that. So I've switched off the projector. You can see our power supply is able to light up that light that bulb correctly. 